It is actually from the blog already and on my YouTube channel. You can go and refer. Right now, what we're going to do now is very simple. I will explain the overview and give you an introduction of what digital marketing is all about. A lot of the times when you hear digital marketing, a lot of you blur. A lot of people blur, okay? Give me an example. What is digital marketing to you, Jimmy? Everything that's online. Everything that's online, okay, good. How about you? What is digital marketing to you? Amazon, like Amazon, or Shopee, it's like digital marketing, okay? How about you? Okay, so social media is part of digital marketing, right? And for you? Easy to connect. Easy to connect to everyone, so let's go digital marketing, okay? Uh, so I got no, and you pass. Uh, we can connect to the world. You can connect to the world. Digital marketing equals to connect to the world. How about you? Online is global. Online is global. Exposure. Oh, online expo online exposure. Actually, what I'm going to show you is whatever you are saying, it is all under digital marketing. It's all. So it's like a big elephant. Many times when we go for a certain class. You pay money 3000 5000 for a two day, three day. We only touch one part of the elephant. So for some people, they touch the trunk. And then for some people, they touch the big leg. And then for some people, they touch the, the, the tail. So the definition of digital marketing is very different. But you assume it's all under the same thing, right? So what I'm going to share with you here with the fundamental basic overview will be a lot easier. Okay, first of all, there are five pillars when it comes to digital marketing. Five pillars, right? So the first one is what we call concept. You need to answer, understand the basic concept of what it is all about. Secondly, you need to know there is a difference between traditional and digital marketing. Where there's a difference. And third, the type of digital platforms, how many types are there? Next, the type of marketing platforms. Hands on last week we do already, so I'm going to zoom in more specific. Now, what is digital marketing? Basically, Digital marketing is the use of digital media and digital technology platforms to achieve marketing and business goals. This is Wikipedia the definition, academic definition. But the truth is, a lot of times we got confused with what they are saying. So what I did is at my age, 52, just like all of us here, we are older or younger. Older, okay, we are all around the same age group. We have this problem understanding. However, if I'm going to tie tie right, you will understand better. Next one. The concept of digital marketing is so simple. Let me share with you. You just need to take digital plus marketing, separate them. Don't mix them together. Okay? Don't mix them together. When it comes to digital, what are we talking about? We are talking about tech. Okay? And when it comes to marketing, we are talking about psychology. Repeat one more time. Digital is everything to do with the tech. Marketing, everything with psychology. If today we have experience offline, how to sell, how to do marketing, how to do presentation, actually the psychological part is similar. It's similar. The only difference is here face to face, I can talk to you, I can catch your eyeball, I can catch your body language, and then I will convert, I will close you. But online, you cannot. Online, you don't know what to do. Basically, what you say, what they read, becomes the telltale side. We have to lead them all the way. Okay? Here it goes up. Huh? So let's go into the tech side. When it comes to tech, digital, there are a few things that need to be done. First thing, you need to have a website, correct? Yep. Now, what is a website actually? It is the same as a store in a big shopping mall. So you do renovation, you do this, you do that. What people say store optimization, SEO, whatever you do. It is only doing renovation. Design, whatever, whatever they will charge you, get the, the grant and whatever. They are only doing renovation. Once you have done on your website, does it mean you will guarantee have customer? No. No, it's the same idea. A store in a shopping mall will determine whether shopping mall will run to one. If the shopping mall have people there, does it mean that people will walk into your store? No, it does not. So logically, you need to have. Send people, send flyer, give flyer, do this, do that, to bring people into your shop. Now, does it mean that once into the shop, guarantee grows? No. no, there's a process as well. Online, same. Clear, yeah? So, first, you have the shop done online. 
after you have the shop done online, you need to do SEO. It stands for Search Engine Optimization. Our limit term, huh? this is yellow pages. This is the yellow pages. That means your shop done already. You need to let the whole world know where your shop is. So you put them on yellow pages. Huh? But in technical term, how do you turn your shop online? People easy to find. You optimize your entire shop. Easy to find. Yellow pages concept. Clear? Okay, next. Once you have that, you need to know where to publicly talk about it. Some people say, oh, I want to go to television. Television. Nowadays, you go to most television, they watch YouTube. So you go to YouTube. Social media. Which platform do you want to talk to? Plus the information. Example, if this is going to be a single mom association, so you will talk to a single mom association. If this is a uh, Hindi uh, association or Muslim association, they are all different platform. Correct? Yeah. Different offline, you will have all these, right? Golf, your golf, the Mirong, your Mirong, the there are different, different groups, JMT or JMT. The, however, when it comes to online, they are called social media. People, where people are getting together. Clear? Clear? Now, next, once you have done that, what you need to do? Traffic. How do you in bring these people onto your shop? And once you are able to bring them in, then the next stage is technically you can analyze. What do we mean by that? It means today, Boli and Mimuta, after I have the list, I invite 10 people to walk in here. Out of 10 people, uh, for an appointment, only 7 appear. Out of the 7 appear, only to come here and then sit through the whole presentation. How many close? Only three close. So my closing rate is how much? Conversion? 30%, three out of ten. This can be analyzed online. More accurate than what we are doing here. Clear? Yeah? Okay. Any question? So far? Can follow? All can follow? Okay, good. So whatever we do, we come for technical. So, so we are closing. These five things. Nothing else. Right? Nothing more, nothing less. Clear? Yeah? Okay, next. Once you understand the tech part, what you need to do? Is the marketing part for a young people, the youth, young children? That part they are good, but they are very weak here because they have never do sales in their life before. They have never. The everybody assume the younger generation eating with digital marketing, but actually they are not. How do we want social media? Doesn't mean he know how to make money now. He knows how to play TikTok, dancing, dancing, wow, handsome, wow, handsome, 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 handsome. Understand what I'm saying? They have no clue on the marketing side. They just enjoy the process of doing it, production. Okay? Now, so the marketing psychology is very simple. First, who are the targeted audience that we are talking to? Who are you talking to? Chinese and Indian and Eurasian. Are they looking at the same thing? No. They don't even have the same language. They don't read the same article. Right? A single mom and a youth that is just coming up from army. The Two audience, two group of people, what they want is very different. So we need to be very clear who we are talking to. So Li and Ming Tan, same idea. In the traditional way, after the listing, we sort out the database, correct? Or the wrong design. This is the one that we are, the process that we are doing, we are doing here. Exactly the same. Okay? Now, once you understand who you are talking to, then what sort of content they are reading. Like for example, do you how many of you still read newspaper today? You? 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 You don't read that? I also don't read newspaper. Oh, go by the phone. So, content. What sort of content your shop need to write, need to put, need to create so that that group will come to you? If you are a single mom, on your landing page, you put single mom. As a single mom, juggling between career and relationship and family, you bring up a child. That topic will resonate. Will align with all the single market, correct? So that is the content you need to create to talk to these four people. Clear, yeah? So when I say write a persona, a, write a bio about yourself on your landing page branding, right now, who are you talking to? Audience. Who is the audience? Who? People who know you. No. When you write a bio about yourself, when you read, you feel good. If you write your own bio, you don't feel good about yourself, uh, that bio will not attract. You need to write a bio about yourself. Is that not? The key is write the bio about yourself in such a way to read uh, you can align, you can feel your filter. When it is your field, what does it mean? Online, 
we means there are a few million people say that you who will be who will be touched, will be attracted by what you are writing. You don't need to talk to everyone. Offline, maybe gym and you is very different. But when most of online, there's thousands and millions of gym actually. They want to look for the same thing and read the same thing. At least or at least. Uh, so we clear uh, so why I say you need to write your own bio first to check. It's just like your CV, but we need to solve it. Clear, yeah? Okay. After you understand the content, then the next one, where does this group of people congregate? Are they in the golf club? Are they in the KTV? Oh, no more KTV. Right? Are, they in, uh, are they in the in the community center? Are they in the club fight? Even time to do the dancing right? Okay, so you need to know where they are. JMT, where does JMT congregate? Understand? Knowing where they congregate, then we can target specifically where to throw the line. Clear? Clear, yeah? Okay, good. So after we have done that, then we need to test. A content, B content, which one attract you more? You notice the whole process is the same. Play a little up and then look through who does this one, who is not who you like, and you get out, you get out of mutual trust is a lot. So it's the same thing. The whole thing is the same thing. Only difference is if offline you're going to repeat over and over again. Online you need to do one time, set that up properly. You don't need to worry. Use that as a tool, offline tool. So everyone will enjoy the process. Why? Because offline have trust. Online, you need to create your reputation, create that trust. That one take how long? Six months, nine months, depending on the content that you're posting. If you don't post content, people don't know you. A picture open an account cannot stop one. When you post video, people know you. Understand? Clear? So while you are building that reputation for farming of new content, offline, the trust level higher, the conversion is higher, correct? But people who are willing to come today, why? Because you have a tool for them to do this online. Think of it, the selling point, understand that? Huh? In this beginning stage, because you have the tool for them to be able to do online and don't have to rely on their own contact forever, because contact will finish up. After a while, Korea. This is the number one weakness of the entire industry. Everybody knows. You need to be very, very good in social and networking to get to know. But you have set up this, this becomes ongoing. Clear? Any question? Clear, yeah? Okay, good. So once you have done the testing, next conversion. It means A topic, A content and B content are sent to you. So B content appeal to you. And then B content takes the conversion, take action faster. That means B content is more suitable. So we choose B content. Understand? So in the beginning, how do we get all this data? You need to spend some money to look at the business actually. Five dollar, ten dollar on Facebook or on whatever. So you get the data in, you can do a evaluation. With the data accuracy, you can tweak what you write, you can tweak what you produce all the time until you get it right. The conversion in let's say is 10% out of 100 is 10. It means out of 10,000, you get 1,000. Out of 100,000, you get 10,000. Clear, yeah? Clear this part. This is very important. In the internet, when it comes to online, you are not talking about 10 people, 20 people. You are talking about skill, skill tune, fine tune the content until you hit by the hundreds of thousands. Because there are millions of you out there that appeal to that same topic. Clear? Any question? No question? Everybody can follow. Okay, good. So once you have done that, now we look at the overview. Okay? Here. Two of the most important principles when it comes to digital marketing. One is the outbound, one is the inbound. One goes up, one comes in. Okay? So what is the difference? Outbound. Alright? Outbound, what does outbound do? Outbound means you go out to look for potential customers. Outbound, you are looking for potential customer. customers. When you say offline, what do we do? We give flyer, we give link card, we go out, we go networking. Same idea, this is called outbound. All right? We go to television, we go outbound. There is no inbound. However, the next one, inbound, it means potential customer now know you, they come and look for you. Now, which one will close better? We go out look for potential customer or potential customer looking for us can cross easier. Which one? Inbound. But without outbound first, they will do not know us. There is no inbound. Understand? Yep. Clear? Yeah? So this part, once you understand, it becomes very simple. You don't even need to worry. 
it's only a matter of time. A plus B will equal to A B. Okay? Now, next. Okay, the types of media when you go up now. First line is what we call own. Second one is paid. Next one is earn. O P E. Okay? O P E. Own, paid, and earn. Now, what is own media? Own media means you create all the content by yourself. Alright? You create all the content by yourself. And you manage the content by yourself. Second, paid media means you buy, you pay for it. That media. You get somebody to the video, you get somebody to the graphic design, it's all paid media. The next one is more difficult, it's called earned media. Earned media means uh, after you use, after you created the content, people use a product and then they say, wow, oh, that is very good. Recommendation. And then they will say, oh, that is very good. That's called earned media. And this time people express online, not just talking about it. So the hardest one to do is to have the earned media. So you have to do everything generally and they'll say 100% execution, then the good media will come back. Okay, but this is also hardest to control because people will swing, sometimes they become negative, sometimes they become positive. Clear? Yeah? Testimonial and reviews are what we call earned media. So in our business, People are being paid for giving good testimony. Right, on the product. But see, the testimony is on the product, but the testimony is not on you. It's not on Henry. Hey, it's not on uh, yeah, Henry. Really? Really, really. Oh, uh, Henry selling my dog, sorry. Uh, really, okay? It's not on really. The testimony is on the product. The testimony. Ah, can you can see the difference now. Jim, uh, we have the testimony of the product, but we don't have a testimony on Jim. But when I want to do the business, who am I working with? Jim. So earn media is important. It's the same idea in our business where something you can how, you can put how. Why? Some apply no good, some apply already uh, the pain in the ass, okay? So they will not get your reputation. But over online is very critical on that. So earn media is very important. Never, never do things that is very funny. Yeah, if it's not righteous, then you can't do it. If you don't want to do it, then you can't do it. Okay, see, one, two, three, two. Alright? So always focus. When, once you go digital, you have to focus on the product. So always focus. When, once you go digital, alice.com, really.com, really.com, alright? Means an OP is what you put in the effort. The result comes in will be your E. The earned media that people talk about you. Today you want to do this, you must follow this leader. Somebody prefer. By any chance, anybody know Lee really? You know? Ah, yeah, yeah, he's a very good entrepreneur, very good team leader, da, da, da. Those are your testimony, earn media. Clear? So, this is what you can do in the same way. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Always remember. Okay? However, if we are capable, we take care of our group. No need to worry about our life. Our clients are there to open the door and say, come here, thank you. Thank you for opening the door. But whatever we do is from us onwards. We are responsible to our team, not to the upline. Clear? Always remember this. Upline, if he's there, he's workable, he's able to help. God bless. If he cannot work, cannot help. Blah, 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 blah. Let's close the door. Thank you. Come That's it. And then you focus. You always focus on your team. Because your team will give you the passive income all the way. Not your own. Clear? Clear? Upline only to do what? Book up into open door. That's it. They are very professional doormen. God bless when they open up for you. Okay, mm -hmm. you think, uh, up to you. You want? Who decides to walk in? We. You. You, huh? After walking, you need to decide what to continue this path. Huh? We. we decide. And then continue uh, to hit the destination. Who decides not to give up? We. We. So at the end of the day, it's always you. And your people below you will look up at you and see what you do if they are slightly weaker. They are slightly weaker. But at the end, if they are strong enough, they will not look at you anymore, they will get better. Clear? So our job in the beginning is to coach them so that they will be able to stand and run by themselves. That's where we get passive. If everything I learned, so no matter what passive, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, clear, it's right. Okay, good. Next, once you have done this, now the type of digital platforms, how many are there? Let's say, first look. First of all, no matter what people say, don't get confused. There are only seven types when it comes to digital platform for you to track. For you to track, okay? First one, email and automation. These are the ones that can give you tracking. Tracking. How many emails you send, 
How many evil people take action? Uh, these are the ones, evil and automate. You cannot be doing 10 different emails. All these are pre, pre-designed. Next, PPC. PPC stands for pay per click. That means after you go up, bump, you do an advertisement, somebody click Facebook will charge you or Google will charge you. If nobody click, free. Okay, ma? So the next question is when they click, what do they what do you want them to do? Click to go where? You must know. So if you click for the fun of clicking, then they are real. Understand? Okay, for example, once Jim created a personalized page, click go into it to give email and phone number. You win the contact, right? So that on the blessed that one click is 50 cents. So what you did was you take 50 cents to buy that that is interested in what you are doing. It's the quality lead because after reading through, they give you their phone number, they give you their name. They give you their email. Clear, yeah? Okay, next one. SEO, this is the yellow pages I talked about. Always remember, SEO stands for search engine optimization. It is free of charge. Yes, it's free. You don't need to pay for it. But what you are paying is the guy that is very savvy, know how to put your entire store on the yellow pages better. You are paying for the uh, man hour no trade. If you know how to do it yourself, you don't even need to do this part. Okay, one good news for you. The funnel that I sent to your right, to make it right, is SEO done already. Clap a bit. Uh, <laughs> it took me four months to do it. Uh, four months ago, you all get one second. Understand? Uh? So the next is going to personalize. So basically, it's already SEO optimized, but SEM is where you pay money on Google advertisement. Search engine marketing, that's where when people type and it's child, your site come up. That one is called SEM. There's an AD, advertisement at the side. Uh, AD, those are called advertisement. If that Alice Chia and only come, only your side comes out and there's no AD, it means uh, it's SEO. Understand? So you don't you decide. Every time I use type something, okay, or leewilly.com, if let's say leewilly.com, here go one AD, it means advertisement, you pay for it. If the first three usually are AD, correct? And then sometimes there's four AD. And then AD do not lose advertisement. You look at this genuine one. People will look at this one first. People will not look at this thing. But yet, yet, would it, is it important to have a strategy in the beginning to have one of these three plus this one? Answer is yes. So that Google has a memory that you are there. Ah, what's IT is the box is a SEO. This is SEM. Pay my money. Okay? Recently, there are some at the bottom. Kind of one of them, you have AD that you can it up. Once you see AD, these are advertisements. It's actually SEM. They pay for it. Clear? Now I tell you the news, huh? Conversion for sales. This is 32%. Conversion because of the reputation of social media, what you have done. By referral, by referral is 92%. By referral. So we are in the business of referral. Referral is 92% of like conversion. Paying advertisement is 32%. But yet in the beginning, you need to do this part. Clear? Yeah? Okay? Okay. Now, the next one, then we go into display. Display, it is also a form of advertisement. But what you do is, you notice, may it sir, every time when you look at something uh, for, for more than 5 seconds, after that, everywhere you go, you see the photograph, the same photograph appear. This is what we call display ads. It is also advertisement. Now, this one gives you the 100% conversion, no. But it keeps reminding the person, hey, you were considering buying this. You are considering buying this. You did consider buying this. Why did you consider? Because you stare at the picture for 5 seconds. So you must be interested, if not, you won't stare for it for 5 seconds. Correct? No doubt, yeah. Yep. Okay, no doubt, yeah? So this is called the display ads. Next one, content. Among so many content marketing, it is the hardest. Because you need to do a lot of research, 
in order to know what your audience want to hear. So the best person to know about your target audience is who? You. You know yourself best, right? So I start off with the easiest one. There are millions of you out there. You only need to talk to you. Ah. So it's your bio done already. Personalized already what happened. Ah. Then who you talking to? The article is I write one of yeah. Understand? <laughs> you need to personalize it to you. You write about you, you read about you, then you will be motivated to get to know you. That's you. So the best content part one is this. So really what you intend to do on your bio? Remember, you are talking to a few millions of you. Huh? So gymkum.com, done. Right? Have a live right? Uh, later we will go and see live later. Okay? So next, social. So there's a few million of you congregating where? Our age group where we go where? Facebook, yes. Our age group we go to Facebook. And we go to YouTube. These are the two places we go to socially. So at the end of the day, having a personal branding site is step one. Step two, what you need to do? Facebook, you need to have a page. So once the site is done, then you go to the page. This two must link. And your page must link to your WhatsApp. That's all. step by step. I'll tell you what to do. Clear? Okay. Up to here, any question? No. No question. Okay. Good. Now, the marketing platform, let's zoom in. Huh? There are only eight different types of marketing platform. So, anybody will tell you otherwise, uh, those are not able to give you the data that you want. The first one is Google Ads, second is Facebook Ads, next one is YouTube Ads, Twitter Ads, LinkedIn Ads, Instagram Ads, TikTok Ads, and Pinterest Ads. Ads, okay? Look at these eight different things. Which one do you think our age group will, will, will be targeted? How, where are we? Which one is effective for us? Facebook effective for us? Effective. Google has in the beginning effective? Effective. YouTube? Effective. So, only these three. Is Instagram effective for us? Not really. Alright? TikTok? TikTok effective? Huh? You're not only children to do TikTok? Yeah. Shop because so they don't have to visit to this room. They said, Oh, yeah. They want. They want. Uh, they said, uh, uh, usually funny videos, entertainment video, okay? TikTok. So the next question, yeah. So you find that now more and more of your friends come to TikTok, right? So Jim? Jim is more LinkedIn, huh? okay? Uh, LinkedIn, why? It's not yeah. For him, it's LinkedIn, why? Do? Huh? You look at his profile. He is a professional. And LinkedIn is what? LinkedIn usually is for professional people looking for professionals. Either a company looking for a professional or a professional looking for a good company. Alright? But do you know how to market on LinkedIn? Do you search for news on LinkedIn? If you want opportunity, do you look on LinkedIn? Oh. You do a follow up and everything else. Oh, I know why. Of the people. The people. So you are a follower of the team, but you're not a content producer. So if you are turning the table around now, you become the creator. People need to follow you. So what is it going to be? Uh, LinkedIn must have the profile. LinkedIn must have for corporate identity, for your presence as a professional. But that is not for me. It is LinkedIn is not the main. But for you, is LinkedIn the main for you to, to open up and do recommend? Prospecting. If JMD most of the people training for corporate, people, yeah, correct. Okay, so for really, do you go on LinkedIn? Not really. YouTube? You go on YouTube more. Okay, TikTok? No. Pinterest? No. no. Pinterest usually are for a very good photographer. No. Ah, photo good photographer who is able to produce very good photographs. They can use Pinterest. So you can either hire somebody to do it for you. Pay media. You don't have to do it yourself. Okay, so basically, Twitter. Uh, for who? Twitter, it is actually unmore, which I'll go for the internet. If you want to target the Western Europe, so yeah, Twitter will most likely be the one. Ah, uh, Donald Trump. <laughs> or oh, you follow Donald Trump. Okay? So, let me explain to you at the end of the day, look at all eight different platforms, choose two, maximum three. Don't do everything. Okay? Choose two or three. So, how do you know what to choose? Very simple. Where do you think you, the millions and millions of you out there going on? They go on Facebook or they go on Twitter? 
they will go, they go on Google to search for things, right? So millions of them for you, SEO become very important. Because your, the millions of you are constantly going on Google to search for things, right? Not even on YouTube, right? Which one more? Between YouTube, between Google, Facebook, and YouTube, which one, which one is Google more? Second, YouTube, third, Facebook. So what she will do is she focus on this three only to create a presence. Other than that, only really. Don't let me see you. Don't let me see you. Okay, yeah. Okay, I'm not sure what other people teach uh, outside because I know a lot of them teach really. We all go blur. This one is so far, so far simple, yeah. Yes. Easy to understand, huh? Okay, good. Technicalities beside the point. Understand the concept first. Okay, good. Uh, you can always add on in the future once you have mastered this part. Always remember each funnel, each marketing platform that you do, you got to spend money. You got to fine tune in such a way that it is workable conversion for you, giving you the data, the phone number, the email, the list that you want. So once you're able to fine tune that already, stabilize already, then you go on to the next one. Always remember, whatever we do, you have to spend money. Your objective is only one. Take back phone number or email. Two things. You must either take back phone number or email. Clear? That is the reason why. If not, in the beginning, it's only awareness. Awareness, awareness. Okay? Clear? Yeah? Next. Any question here? Simple enough? Yep. Simple. Okay, good.